Hi everyone, I Shurojit welcome you all on Econometrics Day channel. आज हम लोग सीखने वाले हैं क्लास सेवन का मैथमेटिक्स तो चलिए बिना वक्त गवाए शुरू करते हैं आज का क्लास Now today, class seven students, we are again going to continue with chapter four, rational numbers, and we are going to continue with exercise four point four. Till our last part, we did question number two till D, and today we will start after that. That is from question number two E, and today's part is part eleven. And I read the comments, and there I found. the students of class 7 are telling sir please upload uh, part 11 so today is the part 11 okay so let us start solving the sum 2e the question was divide the following so how we will do simple thing we will write equal to sign and then minus 7 by 8 this will be not changing but this division sign will become what multiplication and once multiplication means this will become ulta upside down 32 will go up and 14 will come down now is it possible to cut yes you can reduce it 7 ones are 7 7 twos are 14 clear no now 8 ones are 8 8 fours are 32 again you can cut 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 so what is left you can see here one minus sign so minus is left equal to then minus then what is left 1 into 2 2 only And downside one into one is one. We don't write that one. And minus two is the answer. Clear. Now let us come to question number F. Eleven by sixteen. Now division sign will become what? Multiplication. And what will happen? This will become upside down. Minus will be as it is. We will not touch the minus sign. Okay. One twenty one will go up and twenty three will go down. Now. I want to request all the students to watch the video till the end, so that you can understand the concept and how I am solving that pattern, the technique also you can understand. Clear now? Now after this, what we are going to do? We can we cut it? Sixteen and one twenty one? No. Twenty three, one twenty one? No. Twenty three and eleven? No. We cannot cut. So simply we will multiply. So here minus sign is there, so answer will come in minus. Now eleven or one twenty one we have to multiply one twenty one into eleven. So what it comes one twenty one again one twenty one. So one three three one. So what you get one three three one divided by okay. And downside is what down down we will multiply sixteen or twenty three. So if I write here sixteen and here twenty three and if I multiply. Three six is eighteen. One carry. Three one is three plus one four. So forty eight. Now cross. Now two six is twelve. One carry. Two one is two three. So thirty two. So what you get eight four plus two six and then three. So what you get three sixty eight. Now three sixty eight. You can write the answer like this also. But this is a what improper fraction. We will make it. Or we will try to make it into mixed fraction. So what we will do? We have to divide. So the answer will be in minus. And now if I want to divide, suppose here I will do the rough. Okay. So one three three one. If I want to divide, okay, three sixty eight. So you see three hundred sixty eight, and this is one thousand three hundred thirty one. So it will go with what? One three sixty eight. If you do with three, so how much comes? Three eight is a twenty four two carry. Now three six is a eighteen nineteen twenty two carry. Again three six is a nine ten eleven one one zero four. And let us try with three six eight into four. Four eight is a thirty two three. Okay, four six is a twenty four plus three twenty seven. So two three four is a twelve thirteen fourteen. So one thousand four hundred seventy-two. This is big. So it will go with this one only. So three is a what? One one zero four. Bus finished. Now we will 
subtract. So 1 or 4 you cannot subtract. So what we will do? We will borrow and this will become 2 and this becomes 11. 11 minus 4 is how much? 7. Okay. And then 2 minus 0, it will be 2 only. Again 3 minus 1, it will be 2 only. So what you get? 227. Remainder. So 3 whole number minus 3. But why minus? Because minus is from beginning only. Minus. And 3 whole number. Remainder is how much? 227. And what? The divisor is what? 368. And this is the answer. Okay. Now let us solve the next question. Question number 3. Simplify. Okay. So A, B. Okay. So question number A, let us see. One, minus 1 by 6 into 4 by minus 5 into or multiplication sign 10 by 16. So all are multiplication sign. Okay. Here also multiply, multiply. So now what we will see whether we can reduce it or no. So what we will do? 4 1s are 4. 4 4s are 16. We can cut. Now again what we will see? 2 2s are 4. 2 5s are 10. Clear or no? Now after that you can cut 5 1s are 5. 5 1s are 5. Now anything is left? No. Now what I will write? Equal to sign. Now here minus. Downside also minus. So what happens? Minus minus cuts. Okay. Now what is on upside? 1 into 1 into 1. So, 1 into 1 into 1 is what? 1 only. Okay. And downside 6 into 1, 6 into 2, 12. So, what you get? 1 by 12. And this is the answer. I hope you have understood question number A. Very easy. All the three, okay, we have reduced and then we have multiplied. Top, 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 multiplied and down, 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 multiplied. And minus and minus, minus in numerator, minus in denominator. So, it will become what? It will cut or it will become positive. Okay. Now let us see this one. So now here we have to follow the Bodmas rule because bracket is there. So bracket portion we have to do first. So let us do the bracket portion first. Okay. So 4 by 7. Then again divide sign is there. So divide if I want to make it into multiplication, then I have to make it like this way. And this one will turn upside down 21 by 16. Ulta ho jayega. Thik hai? Jab bhi divide rahega, okay, to divide ke baad wala hi ulta ho jayega. Pehle wala kuch bhi nahi hoga. Jaisa hai, waisa hi rahega. Next wala ulta ho jayega. Then after that, divided by. Now, here what you can do in this place, one more thing you can do. You can write 5 by 8 and instead of writing minus down, you can write minus upside. Okay, your wish. Without writing also, you can do. But I will suggest now you make the minus up. So how you are making it? Just simply I told you one simple fund I told you. Just write it upside. And the logic is what? You are multiplying denominator and numerator both with minus. So denominator minus if you multiply minus into minus it will become plus. And upside one extra minus is coming. So that will come here. Simple. Okay. Now inside the bracket we will see we can reduce it or no. Yes we can reduce. 4 1s are 4, 4 4s are 16. Okay. Again here 7 and 21, 7 1s are 7, 7 3s are 21. Clear? Or no? So what you get? 1 into 3, 3. And downside 1 into 4, 4. Then divided by, then minus 5 by 8. Now this divide sign, again I will convert it into what? Multiplication sign. So 3 by 4, multiply minus as it is and 8 will go up, 5 will come down. Okay. Now, let us see we can reduce it or no. Yes, 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8. So, what you are getting? 3 into 2. Okay. How much 6 and minus is there? So, minus 6 and downside 1 into 5, 5. Now, this is what? This is an improper fraction. I can make it into mixed. So, mixed, if I make it, so 6 and 5, 5 1s are 5. So, remainder is 1. So, what you will write? Minus 1 whole number. Remainder is 1. And what is the divisor? It is 5. So, minus 1 whole number. 1 by 5. And this is the answer. So, I hope question number A and B you have understood nicely. Now, students, those who are new in my channel, if you like this video, if you like my channel, 
then I would like to request all my students to please give a like, share this video more and more with your friends and classmates and relatives and don't forget to subscribe my channel because when you subscribe, it really really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you all. And also don't forget to press the all notification bell ting ting so that whenever I upload such videos, you will get the notifications first. Now we will move on to the next question. Now students, let us come to question number 3C. Okay. So what it is telling? Multiplicative inverse of 3 whole number 1 by 2 divided by additive inverse of 2 whole number 5 by 8. Okay. So how we will solve this sum? Okay. So let us see. This one is also easy. But it is written like this way. That's why you are thinking that it is very tough. No. First we will draw this line. Now first of all we will write same thing. Multiplicative inverse. Inverse of. Then this is written in mixed fraction. I will change it into improper. So 2 into 3, 6 plus 1, 7 by 2. Okay. Understanding or no? Next. Again here also additive, additive inverse. Okay. Additive inverse of. Now this also written in mixed. I will change it into improper. 8 to the 16 plus 5, 21 by 8. Clear? Now the main portion comes here. Okay. Multiplicative inverse of anything will be the ulta one. Okay. It is telling multiplicative inverse of 7 by 2. Then the answer will be what? 2 by 7. It will become upside down. Clear? If they say multiplicative inverse of 7 by 8, then it will become 8 by 7. Clear? No. Just it will turn upside down. Now next additive inverse. Additive inverse of anything will be what? One negative sign will come. So additive inverse of 21 by 8 will become what? Minus 21 by 8. Clear? Whenever suppose additive inverse of 10 is minus 10. Clear? No. So additive inverse of 22 will be minus 22. So one minus will come. Clear? Now after this what to do? Very easy if I do it here. Okay. Or I can do it down. You also do in down only. So 2 by 7. Clear? 2 by 7. Now this sign. What is this sign? This sign is actually the division sign. Okay. Divide. Clear? No. And this one is what? Minus 21 by 8. Clear? Understanding or no? Now after this. If I do it here. After this. Now 2 by 7 will be 2 by 7 only. Divide will become multiply. And here minus and this will 8 will go up. 21 will come down. Now can you cut it? No. Okay. Now what you will do? You will write like this. Okay. And then minus top top you multiply 2 into 8 16 and down down you multiply 7 into 1 7 and 7 into 2 14. So 147 and this is the answer minus 16 by 147. Now the last question of this exercise 4.4 question number D. So here you can see bracket portion is there and inside the bracket multiplication sign is there. So we will multiply. Okay. But before multiplying, we will see we can reduce it or no. Yes, we can reduce it. So 4 1s are 4, 4 6 are 24. Anything else? No. Now top top multiply 6 into 2, 12 by 5. Clear or no? Then minus sign is there. Now here I will see whether we can reduce it or no. Yes, we can reduce it. 5 1s are 5. 5 2s are 10. So 1 into 2, 2 only. So what you will get? Minus 2 by 1 into 3, 3. Clear? I wrote in this way. Clear or no? Now I will open the bracket. 12 by 5 minus minus plus 2 by 3. That means I am not jumping the step. Okay. I am doing each and every step so that each and every student can understand. Okay. If you can, if you write directly plus 2 by 3, that is also correct. Okay. 
but that is possible for the students those who are little bit more advanced okay so that's why i am doing each and every step so that each and every student can understand okay now after this we will do lcm see 5 3 both are different so what it will be 15 see if you do lcm 5 comma 3 5 ones are 3 as it is because 5 and 3 both are prime numbers okay so now then 3 ones are, so what you get 5 into 3 15 now same thing same funda 5 how much the 15 3 is a so 3 into 12 so 3 into 12 is how much 36 then plus okay now 3 how much the 15 3 fives are 15 so 5 into 2 10 clear or not now what it comes 46 by 15 clear now what we will do we will this is a what style this is a improper i will make into mixed fraction okay i will make it into what fraction mixed fraction it is an improper fraction we'll make it into mixed so we'll write 46 15 here 15 3 is a 45 yes now so we'll write 45 and then we'll subtract and one comes so what it comes three whole number one remainder 15 divisor and this is the answer clear so question number three c and d is over that means i have solved question number three all the sums as well as exercise 4.4 the all the sums are being completed okay now it is your duty to practice these sums again and again and next in next part we will start with another exercise and next week we will start another new chapter also this chapter also we will be going on and one more new chapter that is chapter 5 also i will be starting okay so practice nicely so that you don't do any type of mistake in the exam okay so agar video acha lage to video ko like share or subscribe karna mat bhuliyega milte hain aur ek acche naye content ke sath tab tak ke liye bye bye